Hello friends, today let's solve all possible four binary trees problem. So we are given an integer n, return a list of all possible four binary trees with n nodes. So firstly, what is a bi four binary tree? Oh well, that means all the nodes either have zero or two children. So in that case, if n equal to 3, we only have one possible four binary tree, which is this one. If n equal to 2, then we cannot get a result because uh, this node, it only have one child, which is against this uh, definition. So it's not uh, possible. If n equal to 5, then this is a possible. But this is not the only possible way because you can uh, put uh, this left uh, child and the right child to this node. If n equal to 4, then it's not possible again, because this node only have one child. So in that case, we can get an uh, understanding that if n equal to, uh, well, if n is an even number, then we cannot get a possible four binary tree. Uh, it is only possible when n is an, an old number. Okay, so how to generate all the possible bin binary trees? We can start from the very small number. If n equal to 0, then it's not. If n equal to 1, we just have one possibility, just this one node. If n equal to 3, we on also only have one possibility. How do we know that? Because at least we have a one root node. So we only left a two node. We know the two nodes uh, themselves cannot be one for binary tree. So it can only be two for binary tree, which is the left uh, child and right child. You should always think about uh, the recursion definition of binary tree. Uh, if we know one tree is for binary tree, that means it's for uh, its left child and the right child are both for binary tree. Okay, so this is n equal to three. Uh, how about n equal to five? If n equal to 5, we can draw these two possibilities. But how can we generate a result? The same way, we know we have a root node. So we left uh, four nodes again. Four nodes themselves cannot be one single four binary tree. So we can only put them as left, uh, left child and right child. So if l left child is one node, then the right child should be three nodes. So if left child sh uh, will be three nodes, then the right child will only be one node. So we just generate it again. So it seems we will solve the same question again, because in that case, left is three nodes. So we should know how many ways we can generate uh, is for binary tree. So we return to a smaller question. Okay, so we just uh, recursively call, uh, solve this question again. Okay. Uh, this is what I mean. If we have a root, then for the left, we have one node. We have three nodes for the right. And if we left have three nodes, then for the right, we have one node. Uh, this is just like uh, left equal to 1, right equal to 3, uh, left equal to 3, uh, right will be 1. So we just uh, uh, generate two possibilities. So if n equal to 7, the same way, we know left should uh, can be 1, 3, 5. You should notice they are older number. It's not possible to get an even number. So if we know left is 1, then obviously right is 7 minus 1 minus 1. Yeah, you should always remember root had one node. So the same will get 3 and 1. Okay, so if left equal to 5, which we already calculated before, we have two possibilities here. So then uh, right uh, will be one node. So we get the final result, the root left uh, this possibility and the right left uh, this possibility and the right. The same way, if left equal to 1, right will be 5, we have these two possibilities. Okay, let's write this code for first, uh, because uh, we, we already know how to solve it. We get this uh, for result, new array list. Okay, so uh, base case, 
uh, or we say a corner cases. If n equal, oh sorry, if n module two equal to zero, it's it's an even number. So we return result. If n equal to one, uh, we know we should uh, add uh, this new tree node uh, uh, zero, and then we return result. If not that case, we should iterate all the possibilities. So one equal to one, oh sorry, i equal to one, i less than n i, uh, increment by two. And then we, what what does this I mean? I means the left child, uh, how many nodes in the left child? So J will be the right child. So that will be N minus one. This is the root minus I. Then we, let's say we know, uh, we should have uh, three nodes in the left child. How many possibilities? We should uh, call this function again, because this function will give us result. So left will be all pos uh, possible FBT um, I and the least tree node uh, right will be all possible FBT uh, that will be J. Okay, so for all the possibilities, we just uh, you know um, try every everyone. So tree node L left. For tree node R right, then we get to the root. First, it will have the zero, then root dot left L, and uh, root dot right will be R. Okay. We add these two results, so we add this root to result. Okay. So in the end, we just return result. Okay, but uh, you will uh, shortly understand that we calculate the same thing many times. Let's say if n is a very large number, then we will keep uh, calculating a smaller cases. So in that case, some cases will be calculated many times. So can we do better? We can use a cache. We use a map to save these things. So that will be list tree node. That will be a uh, map new hash map. Okay. So well result. But if only we didn't calculate it before. So we get this n equal to none. We will calculate again. So how do we calculate again? Uh well 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 well. Well, if n equal to one, then we added the two result, and at the same time, well, we don't put it here. We we I mean we we can put it other place. So else, if not equal to uh one, then we calculate here. Okay. Mm. Okay. So uh, then like the 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 the, the okay. Here, okay. Here, uh, we should uh, map put uh, this n and uh, result, right? Result into into map. So in the end, uh, no matter we uh, whether we calculated before, we can just use map get n as the result. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.